Hello and welcome to week 15 of College Football Predictions. My name is Seidel and I will be predicting some of the games this week. Because I'm not predicting all of the all of the games for week 15 in this video, I'll have the rest of my week 15 predictions in the comments below so you can go check that out if you're interested. But we had a, we had a lot of good games last week. I think we have a lot of good games this week. So let's just get into it starting with 7th ranked 8-0 Cincinnati Bearcats taking on 24th ranked Tulsa Cincinnati has been great all around this year on both sides of the ball, and that shows by them beating every team by 14 or more points uh, until last week when they played UCF and won by three, 36 to 33 uh, last week. And Tulsa also had a win last week against Navy, 19 to six, and they're also on a six-game win streak. But Cincinnati's offense has been explosive this year, averaging 41, almost 41 points in 473 yards a game. And their defense has also been great, only allowing 15 points and 308 yards. Uh, Tulsa's defense has also been good, only allowing 20 points and 329 yards per game. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. I'm going to go with the Cincinnati on this one, 30-22 to over Tulsa. And now we have 16th ranked 2-2 two two Wisconsin Badgers taking on the 19th ranked 5-2 Iowa Hawkeyes. Wisconsin's coming off of a loss, close loss, from Indiana, 14-6. And Iowa's coming off of a win over Illinois, 35-21. to And Wisconsin's defense has been spectacular, only allowing 12 points and 229 yards a game. They have lost to the only two ranked teams they've played, though, being Northwestern and Indiana, like I said. And Iowa, has, Iowa hasn't played a ranked team this year besides Northwestern. They lost one point to them. Wisconsin also lost, like I said, to Northwestern, 17-7. Uh, I, I think I like Iowa in this one, especially with their offense, uh, averaging 32 points, 373 yards a game, and their defense has also been great, only allowing 17 points and 326 yards. I like Iowa in this one. I'm going to go 27-24. to 24. I do think it's going to be a, a close game, but I'm going to go with Iowa over Wisconsin. And now we have 23rd ranked 3-2 Oregon Ducks facing the 22nd ranked 3-1 Washington Huskies. Washington's coming off of a loss from Stanford, 31 to 26, and Oregon's also coming off of a loss from Cal, from Cal, 21 to 17. And I do like Oregon's offense in this one, averaging 34 points, 467 yards a game. But Washington's offense, on the other hand, also hasn't been bad, uh, averaging 30 points and 402 yards a game. And I do like Washington's defense a lot more in this one, only allowing 25 points, 346 yards to Oregon's 28 points, 420 yards allowed uh, on average a game. Uh, and I do think that this one's going to be a great game. And I do like Oregon's passing game a lot more, but I'm going to go with Washington. I think it's going to be a bit of a shootout. I'm going to go 31-28 over the Ducks. Now we have the 17th ranked 7-3 North Carolina Tar Heels taking on the 10th ranked 8-1 Miami Hurricanes. North Carolina is coming off of a win over West Carolina, 49-9. Miami is also coming off of a big win over Duke, 48-0. And Miami's offense has been fantastic this year, averaging 35 points, 445 yards a game. And their defense has been even better, only allowing 22 points, 366 yards per game. And while I do think North Carolina's offense has been one of the best out there, averaging 41 points and over 534 yards a game, their defense has really held them back uh, only uh, only allowing 28 points and 404 yards per game on defense. So I definitely think North Carolina does have the advantage or the edge on offense, but I think their defense is really going to hold them back in this game. I'm going to go with Miami 35-30 to over North Carolina. And now we have the 11th ranked 7-2 Oklahoma Sooners taking on the 5-4 West Virginia Mountaineers. And Oklahoma's coming off of a win over Baylor 27-14. West Virginia is coming off of a blowout loss from Iowa State, 42-6. And Oklahoma has had a top three offense this year, averaging 43 points, 485 yards a game. And their defense has also been great, averaging 22 points, 322 yards allowed a game. On the other hand, West Virginia hasn't had a bad offense either, averaging 26 points, 422 yards a game. And their defense has been even better, only allowing 20 points in almost 300 yards per game, a little less than 300 yards allowed per game. So I do think this one could be close. I think Oklahoma's going to win double digits, though. I'm going to go 38-24 to over West Virginia. And now we have the fourth-ranked 5-0 Ohio State Buckeyes taking on the 2-4 Michigan Wolverines. Michigan's coming off of a loss from Penn State, 27-17. to And Ohio State's coming off of a blowout win over Michigan State, 52-12. to and Ohio State has had a top three offense this year, averaging 46 points, 532 yards a game. 
And this definitely hasn't been Michigan's best year, averaging 28 points and allowing 35 points a game. But I do think that they could make this one a close one. But I'm going to say Ohio State wins just barely double digits over the Wolverines. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to post your predictions in the comments below. And I will have the rest of my predictions for week 15 in the comments, so you can go check that out if you're interested. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.